Hello. This is the game between Bobby Fischer and Peter Daly. Why I choose this position is because we can learn something about uh, negative side when the king is in the center. So the best thing what we can do is just to keep the king in the center. So let's try to do that. And also it would be nice if we can open position, especially in the center for our heavy pieces. In that way we will attack the king. Okay, so we can expect in the future that black will play something like bishop d7 or maybe bishop e7 and then to castle on some side. For now he can't play bishop e7 because we have a queen, she is attacking the pawn on g7. Maybe black will play first b uh, queen b4 to attack our queen, to try to exchange the queens and then without queens it would be easier for him to castle. So, uh, for now we know that we don't need to spend the time for unnecessary things. Here, this just pawn doesn't work that much. We need more or we, we want more. So we want to open position and to keep black busy. So we need kind of something that we will threat something with that move. Okay, let's find such, such, such move here and uh, must be connected with opening position. Okay, if you want to take a pause, try to find a good move here for white and now I will tell you, of course, that is f5. What a nice move. Why? Because we just want to open. So we will capture and then it doesn't matter how he will capture, probably the bishop is better and then we will just exchange that also and here we are. Suddenly position is completely open in the center and that is what is better for white. Uh, if black capture here, this is also good for us because uh, then we have great bishop. So, of course, it's it's uh, it's so good for for white. Okay, so queen b4, and now black wants to exchange the queens, but of course uh, we can play still some tempo moves, and as long as we are playing such moves, black can't capture our queen. For example, such move will be f takes on e6 and now black can't capture our queen because we can capture on f7 so first he needs to respond with bishop e6 but now again we can play one tempo move and that is what we wanted from beginning to achieve so now the position is kind of open and now again i would uh, say that you should uh, try to think keep uh, try to pause the video and uh, see what white should play here I will just help you with uh, that. Uh, I will tell you that uh, we should start with Operation Blitzkrieg. What is Operation Blitzkrieg? You can check in my previous videos um, what uh, you need to check first before that. And uh, if you have every uh, everything what you need for Operation Blitzkrieg, you can start with Operation Blitzkrieg. For example, here we can see that there is a lot of pieces who is out of game at the moment. Only the queen is active, but we can do something about that queen. So uh, Operation Blitzkrieg must be with some sacrifice and we can sacrifice here on f8. Now black is forced to move his queen on the last rank. So practically everything what black has here is on the last rank and it's passive. This is really good thing for us. We don't have too much pieces, but what, what we have is active and only the rook uh, is maybe passive, but we can use him with tempo. But for now we don't want to play rook f1 because that will also activate black queen. So we need to use our queen, of course. So let's see where we can we can go with our queen. If we capture the pawn, then we are threatening a couple of things, but then black can just play simply queen e8, uh, queen e7, sorry, and to maybe consolidate position. So we don't need to capture the pawn right now. We can uh, a little bit harass the king, so we can check him. And after queen a4, black resigned the game. But let's check why black resigned. Okay, so if he moves the king, for example, here, because uh, king e7, we have bishop uh, c5 and we will capture the queen. Or king f7, we have rook f1 and we will capture the queen. So we can't calculate that. We don't need to calculate, calcul uh, calculate that. Uh, so only move maybe king d8, but we have bishop uh, b6 and after king c8, I will show you that. So king c8, we have queen c4, now he, if he goes here, he, we will checkmate him, so he must go on d7, but we have queen c7, and after king e8, we can capture the pawn on b7, and now the rook is hanging, he can't move the rook, uh, the king, sorry, and uh, probably only square for the rook is here, we can trade, f, uh, trade that if we want, but this is still totally perfect position for white, because we can give check, and now checkmate on d7. So this is one of our issues, how we can end this game, but... Of course, uh, only if black moves the king on d8, but okay, he didn't play that, he played b, uh, I mean, he's, um, he resigned here. So, uh, but what can happen after b5? 
Now we can capture the pawn on uh, e4, and now the rook is hanging, so he can't play queen e7 like in the previous situation when the pawn was on b7. So, and now after maybe rook d8, uh, rook d we can simply give one check, and uh, he can't move the king here or here because of uh, we will capture the queen if king e7 again, bishop c5, or king f7, rook f1. So, rook d7 is practically only move, and after that, we can improve that we can attack even harder here but okay there is a way how black can defend it but after bishop b6 maybe a little bit high the move but idea with that move is to uh, uh, to separate the king and the rook in the next move so we will play queen c8 and uh, once when we separate them we can just simply capture the rook and we will stay with one bishop more maybe we won't give checkmate but with one bishop more it's kind of the same so we will win the game we have bishop more so black can't do anything for example maybe rook f8 we can play queen c8 and after king f7 we can simply collect that rook and now the game is over thank you if you enjoyed the, in this lesson see you in the next bye bye